Welcome to the grand finale of the traditional me tournament. We are here to decide the winner of this tournament. I have my three judges, who you have seen all past three days, basically. And three days. Long time. I haven't done to work. I haven't been home at all. So um, the board Holy started here, <laughs> and then it went down to here. And third round ended like this. We have our finale being a macadamia nut traditional mead versus a coffee blossom traditional mead. Let's get started and decide who is going to win. Who made it this far, you guys? <laughs> we could do five more minutes. <laughs> mm. That's a Man, they're so good. I'm thinking it's only going to be five minutes. They're so good. Okay, I am obsessed. Yeah, feel free to debate. Yeah, so so here's where I'm at. Here's where I'm at with this. Um, the coffee blossom. I think it has to do with the fact that it's like totally room temp. Mm -hmm. Is a bit bitter. The coffee blossom. Is yeah, just a bit. They the both have some bitter. Like bitterness is okay. You know, there's like a lingering. I will argue with you that macadamia is more bitter. You think than it's more bitter? I think there's blossom. a lingering astringency from the macadamia. That really rides down the middle of your palate. The coffee blossom goes down easier. Yeah, uh, macadamia is still sweet, but there's a lingering bitterness on it. When I smell this, though, it's just so like it interesting. Like, the macadamia. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. There's a lot more going on, and it's a bit more complex. Yeah, the bitterness. And again, you know, that may the bitterness may like subside if we got these down to temp you know, the right temperature for, you know, respective, mm -hmm. respectively. I... Yeah, I, I mean, I agree with you, but I also think there's a lingering bitterness with macadamia. Like, coffee blossom, not so much. There's bitterness, but it doesn't linger like this one does. Well, and going back to Tony's point on approachability, I think the coffee blossom is the more approachable mead. If I was gonna, if I only had these two bottles, and somebody came to my house and they'd never had me. Again, sober night, porch, hat, sunglasses. Right. You know, gotta I would, think of the whole aesthetic. I would serve them the coffee blossom because I would feel like that would be the one that was more approachable. It's a more universal. Like, sure. you could get a lot of people that have different tastes with a coffee blossom to enjoy it. This one is very specific. But, taste. does that make it the better of the two? Well, is approachability is no if we're talking about complexity right right if we're talking about complexity macadamia is more complex this one yes approachability easiness to drink i'm fully like I'm enjoying both like i am enjoying both i mean I clearly i already drank all because they both drank <laughs> all of the coffee blossom so I, I got like this bit but whatever no salty about that but um i'm enjoying both they're both great me personally, I will drink both of them happily, but I mean, I already did, but, um, it feels like there's a director yeah, behind the camera saying, where are we going with this? Stretch. Okay. No, I'm thinking about like, <laughs> I'm thinking about like complexity versus approachability. You guys yeah. put it this term through here. So complexity, macadamia is more complex. Coffee blossom is more approachable. So to which do we value places. more? I don't know that that's, that's like an apples and oranges thing. That's this whole tournament. I'm ready. Yeah, there's no apple blossom. I know, I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I don't know that I'm ready. I'm ready. He's, he's struggling. <laughs> I just, oh, let's here's do some deal, man. Like, he wait. needs more time. I'm ready. The macadamia has this, like, buttery banana nut thing, mm -hmm. like banana bread thing, mm -hmm. and it's just so cool. Like, it's really cool. Complex. Yeah, yeah no, it's a complex. complex. Yeah, no, I, I understand that. Uh, <laughs> no, but it's like, like t stripping all that away, right? Like, like, just thinking about it on its face. It's just a cool drink. Like yeah. macadamia nut mead. It's just interesting. Like, mm -hmm. and the coffee blossom. I don't know. Both of these are pretty neat. It's hard. This it's is just really good. tough. Like. Like, put a gun in my head kind of thing. Jesus. <laughs> We're not going to do that, but pretending we would. Yeah. Oh, man. Super soaker. I I think... Full of mead. <laughs> Which one am I going to take? Drink more. <laughs> I, I know where I'm at. Me too, I'm ready. 
If you need more time. Please grab your chip. <laughs> <laughs> it's stressing me out. No, 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 no. I, I, I don't have any more. Oh, okay. I just want to smell it. Feel, feel free. <laughs> I'm, so I'm COVID free currently. <laughs> currently. Fingers crossed. That new variant. It's way. all the rage right now. All right, Tony, you tell me when you're ready. I'll count you guys down. I, I just, I think that, um, I feel like I'm going to be wrong. There's no right answer. There's no right answer. answer. This is no, I, I feel like I'm going to, like, it's not wrong. I feel like I'm going to lose, and I don't like to lose. <laughs> okay. We're all winners. Because, because if I lose, you're both objectively wrong. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> objectively. Uh, I'm going to argue against that and have a lot of thoughts. So, let's just save that for the next video. <laughs> Well, uh, for Wednesday night. We'll probably re record a, a debrief, right? We can, yeah. We did that last time. Yeah. Or you can just it's give just him a the video. Okay, okay everyone, just <laughs> just give him the what for? Put your vote close to your chest. Don't show it to any other judges. And I've, I've, I've been usurped as director. I'm, I'm gonna go with my choice. I, I. Okay, great. Oh. <laughs> ready? Three. Are you sure? No, I want to. I want to make sure you're ready. I'm going. I feel like I. I it's a. It's a lose lose thing. Vote, vote with your me. heart. I'm gonna go with my decision, <laughs> even though I just. I feel like. Um, I feel like. No, you can't justify. You just gotta just. just we'll vote talk about heart. it after. I. Yeah. I'm going with what I feel like is the better made product. Which best, is best executed. Yeah. Look. Okay. All right, but, here we go. Well, there's a there's a difference between luck and execution. But not even that, just preference. Okay. Like you can you can something be really well made and you don't necessarily have to like it. That's fair. Three, two, one, vote. Oh, okay. So we have two votes for coffee platinum. So you were right. Go against me. One vote for okay. the macadamia. This is what I wanted to vote for. I voted for the one that I thought was more interesting. I think the coffee blossom is a wonderful mead. Uh, but I'm always a fan of added complexity. I wonder if this one tastes better. <laughs> unlike these people, I don't. I these mean, people. while it's interesting, who are you calling these people? Well, the process is see, interesting. You for the, I also want to know for, what tastes I'm better. For yeah. Oh, okay. So. yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, that means the. I think these are on such equal. They're planes. really good. On such equal. The planes. only I yeah. feel like this is like. That needs. Can you say that on this part of the internet? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's. <laughs> this. Cut. That's what you said. <laughs> this. Cut after that too. This is gonna. <laughs> it's. It's. They're uh, both really good. Like they're both outstanding. I love them both. I would yes, just like, literally get drunk out of this too. Yes. She just canceled me right there. <laughs> I did, I'm sorry, that was your statement. I'm just, I feel like I gotta represent the, the gender over here, so I'm just gonna cut that out. Hopefully really good. Garrett cuts all this Both out. Of them. <laughs> really good. Both of them. Complexity, approachability. Yeah, yeah, so what I was getting at, what I really mean by that is that um, this is like, I can just drink it right now and go. Yeah. I feel like that needs just 2% more dialing yeah. in Great. just just enough then i think if that happens like it's gonna like rocket ship I don't they're disagree. both really good i enjoyed them both they were excellent i'm it not hard. i am yeah. not in any way upset about being outvoted on this one i think this is a solid mead mm -hmm. i just like something with a little bit more complexity. i wanted to vote for this and i thought that i thought that if i did if i voted for that i was gonna lose <laughs> and I thought turns you were out, both gonna vote for this. One. Turns out you were make or break in this decision. Uh. See, different from me. Like you like the complexity of it. Me, I just want something that tastes good. Like I don't, I don't have the technicality that you yeah, have. Yeah, sure. And I want something that's good. I think for you me have a really wherever I like serve it to. You have a really good palate, though. So that's what I was going for. Like, yes, I love the body and complexity, whatever, but. I know like our approach is different because mm -hmm. you, you know about this stuff and you enjoy it. Me, I like what's good. No, I, I, I don't disagree. I'm not yeah. disagreeing with you all other than on like the splitting hairs of what I'd rather drink. And if I had the choice between a one ounce pour of this or a three ounce pour of that, I would probably take the one mm -hmm. ounce of that just exactly. because I think it's more interesting. Who's drinking an ounce? I don't know. It's like a, it's like a whiskey versus like, wine kind of thing. Give me seven ounces. 
<laughs> it's weird because like I don't. We all have like different perspectives on yeah. this because I don't make any of this shit. So I just. I don't either. I just drink. I actually <laughs> made one one time. Mm-hmm. It turned out pretty good. But I but I end up like soon? crying. I don't drink mead very often, but I end up crying like I end up drinking. I drink a ton of wine. I drink a fair amount of beer, not a lot, mm-hmm. and I drink a fair amount of mezcal. <laughs> Uh, I, drink, I drink a lot. I drink some spirits, but I, I drink a ton of wine. So it's sort of like... Well, if you guys aren't going to finish this one. <laughs> I wanted to blend with that. Also, the fact that that bottle was empty Sorry. at first, I feel like that should be a sign. You know? Say that again? We finished this bottle before every other. Stri- I think it was a coincidence. So, I don't think so. I think it was that we ended up with extra pours heavily on that one, and then that one didn't get poured as heavy. I think it was a sign. Mm. All right, well, that means really I did think that, that means for us. Thank you, Garrett, for inviting <laughs> us today to judge and your hospitality. This was so much fun. Thank you. Thank the, you. The, the, we haven't even uh, officially announced the winner of this. After oh, 16 sorry. meads, the winner is the Coffee Blossom traditional. In second place, Macadamia Nut Blossom. In third was the Blueberry. And in fourth, Mango. Here's the rest of the board. Now, some of you who uh, went on and predicted your winners can go and find this board or I guess comment down below where you write. Uh, we had a great time. Thank you judges for Thank being you. a part of this experience. Um, I, I like getting to host it. Uh, I feel like it's much more real when it, I'm not a, a judge in it. So this is fun. Thank you. Gunther. No, Gunther. So I call him Gunther. My name is not Gunther. You guys know that, but I- The first time she met him, she thought his name was Garrett. Gunther. Pass you look like a Gunther. Yeah, yeah, he can so, pass that. Thank you, Garrett. This is fun. You're really yeah, good thank product. you guys. Um, we'll be back in 2023. Well, so, I don't know if we'll all be back, but... Are we, we dying? Hopefully we make it that <laughs> like, long. Are we dying? See you in 2023. <laughs> Cheers.